today, but at least more sunshine. Yeah, it didn't out. feel too bad outside because you had that sun on you. But George, sounds like things are going to change and warm up soon. Uh, warm it up for the weekend. We just have one more day of this kind of weather coming up here tomorrow. But yes, lots of sunshine before a, a few clouds roll in on Friday. 13 weather ball is green, so no change to the 70 degree weather foreseen. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. And the big weather story is uh, some choppy waves. We did have the uh, beach cam out in a Grand Haven, but you can see from the Visitors Bureau here in uh, down in South Haven, uh, the waves are pretty choppy on the North Pier with that north wind uh, piling up those waves. Uh, green flag flying there for uh, the South Haven Beach, 61 degrees, four footers according to the buoys. You can see kind of the churning waves there in our camera from a Grand Haven and also at the Pier Marquette Beach. And there is a beach hazard alert for Allegan and Van Buren and county coastlines until 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, just some moderate swim risk in Muskegon and Ottawa counties. Water temperatures uh, range from the uh, mid 50s north to around 60 further south. Plenty of sunshine along the beaches. Uh, further inland, we've had a few clouds here this afternoon. A couple of rumbles of thunder down there in Kalamazoo County, but for the most part, we've had a dry day. Low pressure system that brought us our cloudy weather yesterday is now located along the eastern seaboard. We have those northeast winds that will continue for one more day. That's going to keep us on the cooler side before we warm things up. A nice clear night here tonight. It's lots of sunshine during the day tomorrow. Here's the next weather system. It's going to take its time getting here. It will be sunny to start our day on Friday, but the clouds will increase during the afternoon, but no rain coming up on Friday. Should be dry Friday night as well, but closer to Saturday, we'll start to see at least a chance of some showers, especially in the afternoon Saturday, and then we'll be back to some sunshine and warmer weather over the weekend. 71 here tomorrow. Our average high is right around 74, 75. So again, just a little bit cooler than average. We'll finally get up into the mid 70s on Friday and also again on Saturday, despite that afternoon shower. And then we're going to see 80s after that. Looking farther ahead, pretty much the entire country for the 4th through the 8th of the month, we'll have warmer than average temperatures. And during that same five day period, we have a little bit higher chance for more precipitation. You'll see that at the end of our 10 day forecast coming up. So clear skies tonight, kind of cool. 41 to 43 up around Ludington and Hart, mid 40s from Muskegon and Holland southward. Northern areas, yeah, down to 40. That's chilly. Uh, you're going to need uh, at least a very nice sleeping bag if you're going to be outside. Low 40s elsewhere. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, we're looking at overnight lows in the mid 40s under clear skies. 13 on your side forecast. Dry Thursday, increasing clouds Friday, and then that chance of a shower or a thunderstorm Saturday. Low 80s on Sunday, and here comes the humidity Sunday through Wednesday of next week. Chance of a thunderstorm again on a Monday. Some scattered showers. Uh, these are not all day rains or widespread rains Tuesday, Wednesday, and then diminishing Thursday toward the end of next week. We are going to cool off with readings in the low and mid 70s. Well, another seasonably, I guess, call it comfortable day here in West Michigan. A lot of you folks do not like that high humidity. That's coming up at the end of the weekend, but between now and then, just a nice little warm up. 13 weather ball is green. No change to our comfortable weather pattern foreseen. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. And if you're out walking the dog or planning on doing it, this is Wilson and he's looking forward to it. I know because the clouds are going to clear a nice sunset here tonight. Sam going to give you the green paw this evening tomorrow morning as well, although it is going to be a little bit chilly to start down into the 40s in most locations. Even more sunshine tomorrow than today. Almost a perfect day, 9.4 out of a 10 point scale for sunshine to create that green energy and the winds are going to be very light. So not a lot of help there from the wind farms here in the state. We had some midday clouds develop in the inland area, still just a little bit unstable and there was enough to create a shower and a rumble of thunder down toward the Kalamazoo area, but skies are going to be clearing this evening and we got a nice night coming up. Low pressure system with all of the Active weather from yesterday has moved well to our south and east. Clear skies this evening. Later on, we'll completely clear. And during the day tomorrow, our winds are still going to be out of the north, northeast, but high pressure right overhead. Beautiful day. Bright blue skies. Very little, if any, haze on, on Friday. Lots of sunshine to start our day, but some high clouds coming in throughout the day. No rain on Friday either. And even on Saturday, 
despite a system heading in our direction, there's only a chance of some showers and a rumble of thunder. And right now it looks like the majority of that might be to the south and east of Grand Rapids. So we might get through Saturday as well without any precipitation. Temperatures though, still right around that 70 degree mark here tomorrow. That wind still out of the north, northeast. Cooler readings over here in the eastern part of lower Michigan. But the winds turn to the south. You notice on Friday we get up into the mid and even upper 70s. Downwind of the lake, maybe a little bit cooler, but up into the mid 70s again during the day Saturday, despite a chance of a shower or a rumble of thunder. Then the weather pattern is going to change later on next week. We're going to turn cooler than average. At least we have the highest chance for cooler than average readings. That is from June 6th through the 12th. So that second weekend of June is going to be cooler than those highs in the mid and upper 70s. But at least the uh, storm track will be well to our north and east. Good portion of the country will be drier than average. We have an equal chance of either more or less precipitation during that same uh, seven day periods. So tonight's skies will be clear along the lake shore. It's going to get cool. 41 Ludington, 43 in Hart, mid 40s from Holland and Muskegon down towards South Haven. Around 40 along US 10. Wouldn't be surprised if there's an upper 30 here and there north of US 10. Low 40s elsewhere. Light north wind here in the greater Grand Rapids area under clear skies. We'll see temperatures drop down to the low and mid 40s. 13 on your side forecast. Average high is 74. We'll still be a little bit cooler than that despite the sunshine here tomorrow. When the wind turns to the south, we'll be up into the mid 70s Friday and Saturday. You notice it's a 60% chance of our, or 60% of our area getting a shower or thunderstorm Saturday. And we may actually even lower that here as we get closer to that time period. But here comes that less comfortable weather. Humid Sunday through Wednesday of next week. Also an increasing chance of some scattered showers and maybe some thunderstorms as well. Low and even mid 80s by Tuesday. Here comes that cooler weather as I showed you from the 6th through the 12th. It's starting to arrive. We'll be in the low and mid 70s uh, following Thursday, but right now, guys, heading toward the following weekend, at least it looks dry. Warm it up in the meantime. Yeah, that's a little bit of everything in that forecast. Yes, definitely <laughs> some warmer temperatures on the way. Thank you, George. George, it looks just beautiful out there. Blue sky, the tree behind you, so nice and green and vivid. <laughs> uh, this is perfect it, weather yeah. for the evening, yes. Out here in a suit, don't want it to be too warm. We have some of that humid weather coming our way. We all are enjoying our cool weather in the meantime. 13 weather ball is a green, so no change to that kind of weather for seeing. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. And temperatures today, uh, not quite our average high of 74, but did make it to 70 plus in many locations. It's coolest down on the south end of the lake where the wind is coming right down the lake. Only 62 for a high in South Haven and in Benton Harbor, 66 in Ludington. We forecast 70 today and that's what we matched. That's a bullseye two days in a row within our target range. There's something about Wednesdays. I think I uh, get into the uh, weather pattern and the uh, uh, thinking about what the forecast is and apparently it takes me Monday and Tuesday to get Pretty accurate for Wednesday, so count on your Wednesday forecast. From the WZZM Beach Cam in Grand Haven, you can see those rolling waves. Uh, 66 degrees there, not a lot of folks on the beaches. Uh, some kite surfers uh, down or uh, board surfers there down in South Haven where there was a green flag flying. 61 degrees, all of the waves are on the north side of the piers. Five footers up and down to the south end of the lake. Four footers out in the middle of the lake. Well, National Weather Service just upgraded the entire lake shore just in the past two minutes to a beach hazard alert. Now all the way from Van Buren up through Oceana counties through 10 o'clock tonight. Those waves will gradually come down to almost flat. Water temperatures mid 50s to near 60, so maybe that's why there's not a lot of folks in the water. It's just cold at the beach and cold in the water. As far as our satellite review, skies are clearing at this hour nationwide. A little bit quieter than usual, but here downwind of the Rockies, some uh, very active weather and uh, still some lingering showers and storms down in Mississippi. Upper level winds always drive the weather patterns. Uh, we had the wind out of the north last couple of days, and so that meant we have had cooler than average readings. But this is going to relax a warm up through the weekend. Winds turning around to the southwest. That'll keep us into the warm and eventually humid weather starting on Sunday late next week. Uh, towards Thursday and Friday, you can see that dip in the jet stream. So we are going to cool off at the end of next week, and you'll see that in our 10 day forecast. For tomorrow, though, nothing but sunshine, upper 60s to the north and down to the south as an onshore breeze continues. 71 in Muskegon and in Holland. That's away from the beaches. Low 70s to the north, plenty of sunshine. That northeast 
northeast wind continuing, north wind shifting to the east. Here in the Greater Grand Rapids area, we'll be up into the low 70s, about the same as we saw today. 13 on your side forecast. <coughs> Dry again Thursday and Friday with increasing clouds. Saturday, just a chance of a shower or a thunderstorm. This is no all day rain and only 60% of our area might see that. Uh, it starts to get humid though Sunday through Wednesday of next week. Probably going to need that air conditioning. Uh, some scattered showers and storms on a Monday and Tuesday into next Wednesday. Before that cool weather settles in, we'll gradually see uh, temperatures drop down into the low and mid 70s.